everyone welcome back to my channel um, my name is Rachel Paris also known as Prez Sketches and today I am going to talk about character design I did another character design video that got a pretty good amount of views but it wasn't even a talk over so hopefully today I can talk to you guys about my quick process on creating a character uh, for a project that I'm doing in school. So my character is a girl who likes to explore and she lives near a junkyard and she likes to go there often to um, scavenge for pieces that she can take back home and rebuild into things. So for my process for this, um, I was thinking about different personalities for the same girl. So the first one I'm working on right now is a little bit more edgy, has a little bit more attitude. I was thinking of a personality relating to Lilo from Lilo and Stitch um, from the original movie. If you see it, she's very, very sassy and very, like, does her own thing and doesn't really care what anybody else thinks because she thinks it's the right way. And so I wanted a little bit more sassy of a character in the first character that I sketched out. Um, and I'm also thinking about shape language when doing this, so she has a little bit, her edges and everything just kind of taper. For the middle one, that was more of my spunky character. She is a little bit more fun. I was thinking about the personality from Finn from Adventure Time when I was designing her. Um, also the color scheme ended up pretty similar. But yeah, so she has a little bit more of a light to her where she's very, very optimistic and adventurous. I do end up going with that character instead of the other two, but this is just kind of my process. And I'm also experimenting with different shapes as well. So the last character that I'm designing right now has more rounded features. So she's a little bit more softer, a little bit more quiet, and I was kind of thinking of a very like shy girl, but who still has her own hobbies. Um, like if people, if she went to school, people would think she's kind of like the weird girl because she likes to build things with trinkets and stuff, and she's not doing really what everybody else is doing, and she's playing in the junkyard. So this is more of my quiet character. Um, and I wanted to experiment with different body types as well, so she's a little bit thicker and I actually think she looks a little bit more cute. And so, for this part I am doing um, the line art and I am using Procreate for this, so I have moved from using, at first I was using, if you saw in my videos, Photoshop, and then I moved to Paint Tool Side because it was a little bit simpler, and then I ended up getting an iPad just for the ease of bringing it to school rather than bringing my uh, Wacom Studio to school. So I've been using Procreate a lot more, and it has actually helped me, but there's still some things that I have to throw in Photoshop, so I'm working with those two programs right now, but for the brush that I'm using for their line art, it is the dry ink brush and I just put it at full opacity and use a very um, small, the smallest brush size I could use um, without it like completely disappearing. And so yeah. I'm just going over the lines right now, filling in the eyes, um, kind of thinking about as I'm doing this, uh, this sh keeping the lines very fluid with their shape and kind of, um, how do I explain this? Just letting the lines kind of flow down the body rather than having harsh edges or too many harsh edges. Also right now I am thinking about the different shades that I'm gonna do while I'm doing the line art, like what I want to be white, what I want to be gray. I'm not thinking about color too much right now, rather than just the regions that I want to separate so it looks like a complete character and everything has a little bit of contrast to it and nothing's blending together too much. 
And so this part I'm filling in the black and I do turn the opacity down on the black even though it's still black just so I can see the lines and where I'm filling in so I don't think I'm going like outside the lines and stuff. And you'll see me make a couple of scratch marks probably on the sides because it doesn't read my hand very well. <laughs> but in the end, I think it turns out okay and you'll see me filling in some of the grays now and the stripes. And I really loved all three of these characters. The middle one just fit my story more, so I might come back and show you guys um, the rest of them with color. That was my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I know it was really fast, but I'll be back with more.